Subtle thank you to everyone who made her day special. Duchess and Harry release intimate behind-the-scenes pictures on first wedding anniversary featuring her dress designer, mother and bridesmaids, but there's no room for Kate. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have shared a touching post to celebrate their first wedding anniversary and given a subtle nod to everyone who helped make their special day a success. In the short slideshow video, which was shared on the Sussex Royal Instagram this morning, intimate moments with members of the couple's family and those key to the day were shown. An image of Meghan giggling and looking to the side while standing with her mother Doria Ragland inside St. George's Chapel and the bride being welcomed by her new father-in-law Prince Charles were two of the pictures shared today. A black and white image of the then newlyweds sitting on the floor surrounded by their flower girls and page boys is also in the sweet video which has been viewed more than one million times. The Sussexes also decided to include a picture of Meghan's wedding dress designer Claire Wade Guller helping her with her veil, however the Duchess of Cambridge was not in any of the behind-the-scenes pictures. A particularly touching picture captured Harry and Meghan surrounded by their family and friends' children after the service. Princess Charlotte is the only child looking directly at the camera in the adorable snap and Prince George can be seen playfully peeking his head right next to his uncle Harry. Their father Prince William is also featured in the newly shared pictures and seen following his younger brother down a flight of stairs while dressed in their formal wear for the big day last May. Kate is the only member of the Cambridge family who was at the wedding and not seen in Harry and Meghan's post. She was at the event but not part of the bridal party and sat with other royal guests for the service. Prince George's nanny also appeared in the background of one of the pictures of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex which appeared to have been snapped in the doorway of the chapel. Today's Instagram post comes after a busy year of married life which has seen Harry and Meghan visit New Zealand on an official tour, split households with the Cambridges and welcome their son Archie Harrison. The personal post was accompanied by a detailed caption which read, Happy one-year anniversary to their royal highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Today marks the one-year anniversary of the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Their Royal Highnesses exchanged vows at St. George's Chapel within the grounds of Windsor Castle on May 19, 2018. The selected song This Little Light of Mine was chosen by the couple for their recessional. We hope you enjoy reliving this moment, and seeing some behind-the-scenes photos from this special day. A message from the Duke and Duchess. Thank you for all of the love and support from so many of you around the world. Each of you made this day even more meaningful. Royal fans were also given an intimate look at the moment Harry and Meghan both signed the registrar as the couple, who welcomed their first son Archie Harrison 13 days ago, posted black and white images of them bending over the book. Another image cleared up confusion over who handed Meghan her bouquet of white flowers just before she walked down the aisle. One black and white picture shows Harry's assistant Clara Madden, who was dressed in a light-colored knee-length dress and nude heels, passing the pretty blooms to Meghan and smiling at the bride. Clara, 32, who is from New Zealand, is in charge of project management for the Sussexes and kept their diary running smoothly in the countdown to the big day, reports the Daily Mail. She caused a bit of a stir at the palace in 2016 when she started dating Nick Lochran media adviser to Kate and William, within months of him splitting from Rebecca Deacon, then the Duchess's right-hand woman. Thousands of people have congratulated the couple on their first year of marriage on Instagram. One person said, Happy anniversary dear Harry and Meghan, thank you for making the world a better place by spreading love and positivity. I love you guys. Wish you all the best. And of course our little Archie. Another added, Gorgeous and hey look so happy. Congratulations to them both and of course little Archie. Someone else wrote, these pictures emulate what a precious and beautiful day it was. Happy first wedding anniversary. While one royal fan said Harry and Meghan's relationship helped to change their own opinion on love. They wrote, I'm bawling my eyes out and I don't even believe in love or marriage. These two did something to me to change all of that. The official royal family Twitter account has also posted a message to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on their wedding anniversary. Alongside a picture of the couple kissing on the steps of St. George's Chapel, the tweet said, 
wishing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex a very happy wedding anniversary. Today marks one year since their Royal Highnesses exchanged vows at St. George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle. It's been a busy first year of marriage for the couple with many official engagements, an official tour overseas, and also the news that Meghan was pregnant with their first child in October last year. The Duchess of Sussex gave birth to her first child Archie Harrison on May 6 at the private Portland Hospital in Westminster and the couple revealed him to the world in a public photo call on Wednesday 8 May. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, became engaged following a whirlwind 16-month romance after going on a blind date in London. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex wed on Saturday 19 May last year at St George's Chapel with the whole royal family in attendance, along with many celebrities guests including George Clooney and Robbie Williams. On the say they said they feel so lucky to have shared their big day with 120,000 people in Windsor and millions watching around the world. Her wedding dress designer, Givenchy's Claire Waite Keller, revealed that even the women working on the garment were kept in the dark about who it was for. Hairdresser Serge Normand revealed it took him just 45 minutes to create Meghan's messy bun using a packet of hairpins that cost only a couple of pounds. The couple's first dance was to Land of a Thousand Dances by Wilson Pickett and a worse for where George Clooney was among the last to stagger off the dance floor. Meghan's all-white collection of flowers on her wedding day also featured blooms that Prince Harry picked that morning, including Forget Me Not, Sweet Peas, Lily of the Valley. Astelby, Jasmine, and Astrantia. The newlyweds spent their first night as a married couple at a mystery romantic bolt hole, with the Queen apparently looking after Meghan's pet beagle guy while they are away. A first wedding anniversary is traditionally celebrated with paper gifts, with couples sometimes exchanging presents featuring a paper ticket. Meghan's mother Doria Ragland, now a grandmother for the first time, is thought to be staying with the couple and could perform babysitting duties if the Duke and Duchess choose to have a romantic dinner to mark their anniversary. Prince Harry attended another royal wedding yesterday, when Lady Gabriella Windsor married Thomas Kingston in the biggest society wedding of the year so far. He attended the wedding without Meghan just 12 days after the birth of Archie. The 34-year-old royal arrived with peep show actress Sophie Winkleman who is married to Lady Gabriella's brother Lord Frederick. Harry was accompanied by his uncle and aunt, the Earl of Wessex and the Princess Royal, who was joined by her second husband Vice Admiral Timothy Lawrence for the wedding of Lady Gabriella, the daughter of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, to financier Mr Kingston. Since their wedding in May 2018, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have managed to pack their year full with engagements and events. Only three days after their nuptials in St George's Chapel the couple were spotted at a garden party at Buckingham Palace in celebration of Prince Charles' 70th birthday. And in June, just a month after marrying, Meghan was seen laughing and smiling with the Queen in Cheshire. The Duchess of Sussex was also keen to start her own projects and in September she supported together, our community cookbook which helped victims of the Grenfell fire. However perhaps the biggest news the couple had to share came in October 2018 when they revealed they were expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. This was shared on the Kensington Royal Instagram page, with Harry and Meghan saying they were delighted. Soon after the couple headed overseas for a two-week trip which included stops in Australia, Fiji, Donga, and New Zealand. Meghan was seen in a variety of fashionable outfits during the trip and the pair carried out 76 engagements during their time abroad. Last November it was announced that Meghan and Harry would be moving to Windsor amid rumours of a rift between them and the Cambridges. In February the Duchess and Duke visited Morocco and met King Mohammed VI in Rabat. Another major event was the launch of their own Instagram page, Sussex Royal, which marked a split of royal households. Their account broke the record for reaching 1 million followers and has since posted numerous pictures to highlight charities supported by the couple and also to share their personal news. Just two months ago, in March, it was announced that the Queen had agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Meghan and Harry's new household is to be based at Buckingham Palace while they will move their official residence to Frogmore Cottage. This month the couple welcomed their first child. 
Archie Harrison. The baby, who is the seventh in line to the throne and an eighth great-grandchild for the Queen and Philip, arrived at 5.26m on May 6, weighing 7 pounds 3 ounces. Archie's birth was registered on Friday, revealing the couple had their baby at London's Portland Hospital, a private hospital favored by celebrities wanting a money-no-object birthing experience. The birth certificate also showed Meghan may have been born a commoner but is now a princess of the United Kingdom as far as her occupation was concerned. 